Hi, my name is Lurie Kalyanen. I'm a plastic and hand surgeon from St. Paul, Minnesota. Today I'll be discussing Dupuytren's disease in the Hispanic population, a 10-year review by Weinstein et al. from Bellevue Hospital. Though Dupuytren's has been classically thought of as a disorder of white Northern European males, hand surgeons have long recognized that it's present in both men and women and people of all ethnic backgrounds. The authors of this study performed a 10-year retrospective review of the population of patients seen at Bellevue in an attempt to better categorize the distribution of Dupuytren's disorder in the non-white population. They also sought to define other comorbidities that may, in their patient population, be associated with Dupuytren's. One of their strengths, they feel, was the racially diverse neighborhood surrounding Bellevue. I applaud the author's efforts to, in an attempt to better categorize racial distribution of Dupuytren's to increase the recognition of it in other populations, and the attempt to find associations between Dupuytren's disorder and other systemic diseases. However, they've described Dupuytren's in a very discreet and specialized population. The Hispanic patients that they treated were, by any definition, profoundly unhealthy, with over half of them having comorbidities of tobacco use, alcoholism, and hypertension, and almost half having diabetes, it is difficult to tease out the relationships between the aforementioned disorders and Dupuytren's in a more generalized Hispanic population. The authors claim that only 1.7% of their patients required surgery, but they only comment on the degree of joint contracture of operative patients, not of non-operative patients. The small percentage of people who underwent surgery had significant contractures of a mean of 48 degrees at the MCP joint and 43 degrees at the PIP joint. Current indications for surgery are greater than 30 degrees of contracture at the MCP joint and any degree of joint contracture at the PIP joint. White patients in their population underwent um, Dupuytren's release more than twice as frequently as Hispanic patient, uh, patients did. And the author's explanation for uh, this neglected key questions of insurance coverage, the ability to take time off of work, and possibly immigration status. The two proposed reasons for the difference, cultural bias and surgeon preference, are not well explored by the authors, as the indications for operative intervention have been well accepted in the hand surgery community for a long time. Certainly causal relationships between Dupuytren's and other disorders, such as diabetes and liver disease, have been long studied and no relationships have been found. The authors in this study failed to demonstrate either that their population is generalizable or that the diseases have an epidemiologic link to other systemic problems. Given their unique population, they are in a wonderful position to perform further studies focusing on access to care and on cultural aspects of hand surgery. Thank you.